What is going on guys? This is The Lost Yeti here, and today we're back again for another episode of Sackboy, A Big Adventure. Today we're going to be playing Matter of Factory. Hopping right into it. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Wonderful whippity dippity day. I don't know where that came from, but it's a thing. Oh boy. Today was a long one for me, and by that I mean a long one just not, be not because I was productive per se. Um, although I would have liked it to be. I got a couple things done. Leaves a little bit of things to be desired, to be honest. But it's nice to break away, play some games, relax a little bit. Meanwhile, my dog is passed out on the bed besides me and is like, please shut up. I don't want to listen to you. And I'm like, Doug, you are cute. Please accept my, my words of wording. And uh, let's not die immediately here. So we got these fall away floors, and then we go up. Right, we gotta get those guys dead ASAP, because they give a good amount of extra points. Come on, double points us. Ah, did we get robbed? We got robbed there, I think. Oh, hi. Can't afford to uh, pause here. They're all of my points. Okay, so we connect. Oh. Did. It does dead, sec boy. Alright, let's get these roll jumps out here. Look at this. Straight out skill master. Can we roll across that? Yeah, we can straight up roll on that. We rolling out here. Alright, this guy's gotta go. You can't just disrespect me like that. You done, son. Oh, that's B. Okay. Go, and then we're bringing it downtown. Excuse me, sir. You're gone. And got the full hundo points for that. Let's grab all the ones on this platform. Shouldn't be too difficult. Then we just got an alligator run our way up. You guys ever hear about that wise tale? I don't know if it's wise tale or not. Probably it's wise tale. Um, that being the alligators uh, have difficulty chasing you. Um, if you're running zigzags, I think it is. Smash the pumps. Smash the pumpkins. Yeah, I, I doubt that that's a that's a thingy thing, but uh, why does it look like that's a? Ooh, I, I see the door. Give me them goods. And we got our live back. Ooh, we got a smash. These are always weird because it almost seems. Oh, there's a Dream Marble. Cool. It seems very glitchy, and we already missed one Dream Marble. A little disappointed in my own super sleuth skills over here. Making a way across. Please don't kill me. Give me the points. Oh. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy going up. On a Tuesday. Gonna bust these blocks. Cause I do say nothing else behind door number one. In we go. But yeah, besides that, my dog was super cuddly today. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, I was working on a uh, little bit of a project oh, that I've been working on with a couple buddies for school. So basically, what we're doing is we're uh, designing this automatic pill dispenser. Uh, easier said than uh, done. And he was absolutely like nestled up to my leg and it was so cute. Um, this guy, so he's got a thing of, whoop, I'm dead. He's got a thing about uh, like these really intense licks. Like he vigorously licks you. This man, it seems like he wants to put his tongue like directly through your bones. And he was literally trying to burrow his way through the, so I was sitting on the bed on my laptop. And, uh, yeah, this man was literally trying to burrow his way through. And I felt like there was something over here, so hold up for a sec. We, we out here on a field trip. Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah, buddy. And where does this lead to? Excuse me. Is that just gonna drop us up top? Wow, that's convenient. Nice. A 
smash this. Gotta smash that. Oh. Well, thankfully I didn't just die there. It looks like we got a mini game tent. I'm ready. In all seriousness, though, he's super cuddly. He's great. Wouldn't want it any other way. I will say, though, sometimes oh, I'm a little jealous because my, uh, my girlfriend, she has a smaller dog. It's a Havanese, if you're familiar. If not, I would highly recommend Googling a picture because they're super freaking cute. And, um, yeah, her dog loves to lay on my lap when I do things. And the best thing is, like, the best feeling ever is when you're, like, literally just sitting on at your desk like you do, grinding on some work, and you've got this little snuggle butt just chilling there, like, arm, or heads passed out on the armrest, cute as could be. Dogs are great, man. I, I don't know. Like, I, whoop, th these guys are gonna straight up kill me. Come on, just take out the beehive. You guys are supposed to explode or something, right? There we go. That sort of did what I wanted to do. Not really. It actually did not at all what I wanted it to do. And where does this door ro roll to? I probably went up here. Forgive me. Through this door we have... Okay, so we get a weapon. A weapon or not. An umbrella. What does this have to do with anything? Oh. I see. But what does that do for us? So this is super cool and all. But I don't necessarily see the uh, immediate benefit. It does have me a little bit worried that pretty soon there's going to have to be some like secret areas that you're only going to be able to access by uh, utilizing this. Look at that, and it's like, oh. Actually, you want you, you wanted to uh, get the super cool item? Well, you should have found the power up in the one inconveniently placed area. Alright, that's gonna go there. Actually, oh, look at that. It's gonna give us access to absolutely nothing of use. Actually, that's a lie. It gives us this alternate route where we can get some collectibles. Look how fancy that is. I can buy more costumes now. Would have been a lot more satisfied if that had actually um, been some prizes up there. Although there's a little bit more, so I'm going to try to figure out. How was I supposed to get across that? I couldn't. Don't appreciate you. Get it. Right on, get off. Alright, maybe there's a way up over here. Or not. Oh, but it does one shot those guys, which is kind of nice, to be honest. And, it will let us. Just get on that two points scheme. Lost a couple there, unfortunately. You know, so here's a question, actually. So going off of what we were saying earlier about, um, or what I was saying on earlier about dogs specifically. Like, dogs are great because they, like, cuddle into you, you know. They are a little bit of work because you have to walk, feed, poop, all of those. But, um, you know, like, what do you do? So I've had fish before, so this is maybe a, a dumb question. Like, what do you do with birds? You know, like, I've got the absurdity of trying to walk your bird out of my brain, because that's a horrible idea. But, um, actually, though, what do you, like, I know you can keep it in the cage. Some birds can, um, you know, sing. I feel like the cage thing's a little sad, but you don't really want that flying around your house and pooping everywhere. I mean, I don't know if you can, can you train a bird to, like, poop in a designated drop zone, for lack of a better phrase. I mean, like, Call of Duty, we're dropping in out here, but, like, also... I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb. Yeah, let me know if you have a bird. Drop it in the comments below. What, what do you do with, with your bird? Because it's, like, 
bird activities are weird. And, uh, I am also weird for thinking walking a bird would be socially acceptable. Someone's probably done it. I guarantee you someone's walked their bird. But anyways, guys, I think, uh, this is gonna be a little bit of a shorter one, unfortunately. But, uh, longer than last week, or longer than yesterday's. Because yesterday's I edited it down a lot. With, uh, further ado, if you enjoyed this, uh, episode please consider leaving a like on it if you enjoy the series consider subscribing following along as always this has been your host the lost yeti and i hope to catch you guys in the next episode of sackboy a big adventure